drop it. Hey everyone, it's Dieselworks123 here. Now, most of you know that I am a Thomas collector. Well, because I've put videos on. But, I've recently just started collecting another well, piece of merchandise from the Thomas & Friends range. It's DVDs, but they're imports. Now, New Zealand gets a lot of Thomas & Friends, no, well, not just Thomas & Friends actually, imports for it, pretty much all movies. Um, and I see all sorts of Thomas import DVDs. Selling for oh, sometimes even four dollars, which is remarkably cheap for a Thomas and Friends DVD. Considering um, when I got it, um, Blue Mountain Mystery here that costed me about sixteen dollars, and I know King of the Railway is going to cost sixteen dollars because I'm going to buy it tomorrow. It is going to be the twenty fifth of September. Yay, King of the Railway! Anyway. Um, and recently I've seen a bunch of new um, imported DVDs coming into the shops. Like, for instance, I've seen the British versions of series 8, 9 and 10. And I plan to get those to add to my collection. I've also seen the UK version of The Sounds of Sodor, which I own as a New Zealand release. I believe this is also the uh, the Australian release as well, because it's got a stupid carry case handle on it. And I've seen the UK version of Calling All Engines. Um, what else have I seen? I can't think of any at the moment, but I just thought I would actually show you my collection so far of my imported DVDs. I have nine. Two of them are American, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them are UK. So I'll start off with the American ones first. And um, first off, we have the collector's edition of Ten Years of Thomas. Now, the episodes on this are Thomas and Bertie's Great Race, Old Iron. Trouble with Mud, Terence the Tractor, Percy's Ghostly Trick, Mavis, Henry the Elephant, uh, Percy's Promise, James Goes Buzz Buzz, and All at Sea. Uh, bonus features are bios of the characters, the Thomas Anthem, a build and engine game, uh, Breakfast Time for Thomas Read Along Story, and a link to the official Thomas website. And it is dated 2005. Is the back. Next we have Percy's Ghostly Trick. Now I think this is a great DVD. Both of my American ones um, are narrated by George Carlin, which we all know he is a great narrator. Um, this one includes obviously Percy's Ghostly Trick, Woolly Bear, Thomas and Percy's Mountain Adventure, Escape, Oliver Owns Up and All at Sea. Bonus features are the character gallery, um, the sing-along of the Thomas Anthem, again, and a bonus DVD game, Who Am I? And it's dated 2007. Now to the British ones. We have It's Great to Be an Engine. It's a Season 8 DVD. It includes Too Hot for Thomas, Gordon Takes Charge, James Goes Too Far, Emily's Adventure, Edward the Great, Percy and the Magic Carpets, and You Can Do It, Toby. The DVD extras are If You Were an Engine Game, and A Day Out with Thomas Preview. And it's dated... 2004. Next we have On Track for Adventure. Um... Episodes are Thomas' New Trucks, Thomas's Milkshake Muddle, Toby Feels Left Out, Duncan and the Old Mine, Mighty Mac, and Thomas and the New Engine. And 
The DVD extra is the a karaoke song. I can't remember which song it was. It's dated 2007. Next we have The Spirit of Sodor. Um, it includes Thomas and the Statue, Percy and the Oil Painting, Henry and the Flagpole, Bold and Brave, Scar Lowy the Brave, Thomas and the Rainbow, Thomas's Day Off, and Thomas and the Toy Shop. And it's dated 2008. Next we have Engines and Escapades. This is one of my favourite DVDs, as it features episodes completely based off the narrow gauge engines, and I love the narrow gauge engines, and it's one of the reasons why I loved Blue Mountain Mystery. So, the episodes on this DVD is Duncan Does It All, Cool Truckings, Scarlowy Storms Through, Sir Handel in Charge, Dingaling, and Wash Behind Your Buffers, and it features the narrow gauge engine song, and it's dated 2007. Next, we have the first DVD import that I actually got, which was quite a fair while now, and it's The Great Discovery. This was a fantastic movie, I think it still is. The fact that it was narrated by the fifth James Bond actor, Pierce Brosnan, he did such a fantastic job of narrating this movie. And it's the original release with the um, embraced cardboard cover. It's got a gold case. And inside you get um, a Thomas pamphlet thingy, Discover Thomas. And that's dated 2008. Now I have the New Zealand release for The Great Discovery. It's right here. That's what the New Zealand release looks like. And it also comes with you know, just like a DVD pamphlet showing like all the different DVDs like there's the Thomas page I think the Discover Thomas pamphlet that was in the UK Great Discovery is in the season 6 New Zealand release Thomas DVD but anyway back to the imports um, I don't see why people are so judgmental about this series of Thomas. I think this series was absolutely great. Not just because of the stories, but also because of the animation. Series 12. Why are people so critical about this series? Like, like come on. Don't tell me that the animated faces on the models was a bad idea. I think it was absolutely excellent, and I think they should have done more series like this before they went fully CGI. And like uh, The Great Discovery, it comes with the embraced cardboard cover, which I really like. And it's dated 2011. And lastly, I got this maybe two days ago for $4, which was an absolute steal. It's the first of the fully CGI animated um, imported DVDs I've seen in the shops and it's the Lion of Sodor look at that cover amazingly animated come on look at that beautifully animated cover I do have the New Zealand release that is what the New Zealand release for the Lion of Sodor looks like but I prefer the UK cover And it's interesting, with the New Zealand release we have two extra episodes on it, which is Buzzy Bees and Thomas and the Runaway Kite. And the standard episodes for this DVD would be The Line of Sodor, Thomas and the Pigs, Time for a Story, and Hero Helps Out. Bonus features are Sing Along Song, Roll Along, um, Down at the Station, A Steam Engine, and a Guess Who Puzzle, which is Hero. It is dated 2011. But what I liked about this DVD was you got to see Mr. Perkins. Now, the New Zealand releases of the CGI DVDs don't get Mr. Perkins. 
Um, and neither did the Season 12 DVDs. We didn't get Mr. Arkwright with them. So, that was a really nice change. Beautiful cover. So, that is my collection so far of Thomas Import DVDs. I plan to get Series 8, 9, and 10 as well. They have beautifully animated, I mean, beautifully shot covers. And if I find any more imports, I will be sure to tell you about them. But other than that, guys, I will see you later because I'm going to go get a pizza because pizza's rule. And I'll see you when I see you. Goodbye, everyone. Drop it. <laughs>